Okay, so what I'm going to do is graph from the book on page 220 and 221, okay. the sine and a cosine. So I'm going to put some numbers in the, uh, in the, in the uh, Excel chart. And I'm just going to start with the zero. And I'm going to go about every 30 degrees. So these are the degrees. In fact, I'm going to start over and just put uh, the angle X in degrees. That way we'll know what we're talking about. Uh, degrees. So this one will be 0, this one will be 30, and this one will be 60. And because the computer Excel is smart, it knows that I'm going to go every 30. So I'll go all the way up to, uh, uh, I'll even go up to a little bit further, something around there. Okay, so those are degrees. Now, Excel it can take the sign of those angles, but it doesn't. All, it only does it in radians. So I'm going to put x in radians. Okay. So now we're going to change all those angles to radians. Okay. okay. So you do that by starting by putting an equal sign r a d i a n s. That's the function parentheses, and you got to go to the place where you're going to make them. That, that's zero degrees, so that you're going to make that into radians. Okay. So that's my equation. I can press enter or the green check and I'm going to uh, double click and that's going to change all of these to radians. Okay? okay? Now all these angles are in radians. So this is 1.04. 60 degrees is 1.04. Okay? Now you know what pi, uh, uh, 180 degrees is pi radians, right? Right. Okay. If you look at 180 and what is pi? 3.14? There it is right there. 3.14 so it, you know you're doing it right and 360 is 2 pi so it should be twice as much as 3.14 so 6.28 so we know we're okay okay yep. now we're going to take the sine of these angles so the sine of x and the sine of x we're going to put it in an equation okay so we have to start with an equation by the sine parentheses it's waiting for where you're going to get this so it's b2 and put the other parentheses and check it okay and you know that sine of zero is zero so I'm gonna just bring down all of these down copy the equation okay and I can make this bigger to show you that uh, those numbers really go far yeah. okay as you know that sine can go on and on and on I'm gonna do a I'm gonna put the cosine here so I can I can use that later so now it's equals cosine and I'm going to uh, the cosine of, oops, I can't do that yet. I'm not doing it with the cosine. Let me do that again. So cosine, parentheses, and it's B2 again. So I can write down B2. And that's what's go there. And you know the cosine of 0 is 1. So that's working out. Double click, and it copies all of these. Okay. Okay, so now I have my angle in degrees. I change it to radians. And I have the sine of those angles. You could find that by calculator. Yep. You could find the cosine by calculator. Okay, so I'm going to just highlight this column and I'm going to hold the control button down, of course you can't see that, and hold down the sine column. Okay. So I held down the control button and I'm able to highlight two columns that are not next to each other. See, if they were next to each other, I could just go boom, boom, like that. Okay, but I can't do that when they're not next to each other, so I have to hold the control button, because these are the two variables that I want to graph. Insert. Scatter. Now, I usually go to this one, because I like curves. So hopefully it's curved. Get rid of that, because I want my graph bigger. And... That's the way the sine curve looks. Okay. And the thing about the sine curve is that it starts at zero, goes all the way to one. That's at uh, 90 degrees. It goes down back to zero at. Let's find it here. Oh, well, that would be it's. It should be 180 because this is a very small number. That's why. It because of the Excel. Uh, the, the way it figures out sine and cosine, it should be zero, but it's taking it from the, the radian, so that's why you've got this big long number that doesn't end. So okay. that's why you get this is really 
this is 1.2 times 10 to the negative 16. So you get 16 zeros before this 1, so it's almost 0. That's the error value that Excel does. Your calculator would probably give you exactly 0 if you run it off. In fact, if I, I let's see if I bring this closer, I bet I get 0. There it is, 0 right there. Yeah. See, I can even leave it like that, just in, in uh, one point there. So that's good enough there. Okay, we have three. Uh, let's try one more. No, I meant to make it zero. So, see, now it looks like what we are used to. Okay? okay. Yep. That's it. And notice I'm rounding off. Like, you can do that with the calculator. So that's the sine of x, all right? So I'm going to get rid of this for a second. And I'm going to highlight this column and the cosine column. Let me uh, make that bigger. No, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to highlight the cosine column. So I'm going to the graph of these two, OK? So scatter this one, get rid of this, and go over here and make it bigger. Go over here and make it bigger. That's the cosine of the angle sine of the angle starts at 1 goes to 0 at 90 mm -hmm. okay right there yep. goes back down to negative 1 at 180 so this is what this looks like so notice it's curved okay it's not like a linear and this is an oscillating it has a period now the amplitude is how high it goes from the median from the center line here okay so this is an amplitude of 1 if this was three times the cosine of x, you'd notice that it would go all the way up to three. Okay. So sometimes when you have that, so let's say that this equation is three. We're going to put three times the cosine of x. So let's drag that all the way down. Let's graph these two. Let's do that again. Graph. This is 3 cosine x now, okay? Yep. In fact, just to not to confuse them, I'm going to put it in there. 3 times the cosine of x. So let me do it again. Highlight that one. Insert. Scatter. Boom. And now if you notice, it goes up to 3. And it goes down negative 3. So you've increased the amplitude. Okay. And if this was a sound curve, you just amplified it. You made it louder, yep. but it still has the same frequency and period, okay? It's just higher. A normal co cosine curve starts at 1. This one you've increased by 3 times. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to change this back to uh, just the cosine of x. And I'm going to change the equation, get rid of this 3 times. So put it back to what it was before. And... Now, I'll leave, now I'm going to highlight this one, the angle in degrees, the angle, I mean the sine of x and the cosine. I'm going to put two graphs on the same chart. So that way I can look and compare them. There it is. Well, I'm going to keep that for a second. Let me uh, make this bigger. I'll keep it to show you why. I'm, and Excel is pretty cool because it change, it gives you the colors of each one. So okay so the blue one as it says here is the sine of x notice that zero degrees it starts at zero and one so that's right there and then the cosine starts at one and it goes down okay 